All right, so boom. So a couple of months ago, I posted a video on TikTok telling my followers, comment some dares, that I would do throughout the course of one week. And I promised that based on the votes from people who watched the video, the person who gave me the most creative dare would win $200. But as you can see, I posted this video on January 30th. It's me. For months, I tried this challenge, February and March. And whether it was bad video production, being unprepared for the yes. dares, or just straight up anxiety. I couldn't complete the challenge. I just couldn't, I couldn't. But this time, whoa, this blasted time! I have gotten all the materials I need for this video. And I took something to combat my trifling ass, ridiculous ass anxiety. Some blasted sorrow. If you don't drink some blasted sorrow, then your life is in a fumble. <laughs> that didn't even f***ing rhyme. Proof that it's Monday. And proof that I get started on an everyday basis. Now for the first day, I had to destroy my intestines. When I did this day months ago, I did it inside the house. But this time, I'm going for a more public approach. The Mavericks just drink from the bottle and put it back in the store while a pandemic is going on? OMG. I'm calling NYPD. I'm calling the feds. No, fuck that. I am contacting the Shade Room. The Shade Room teens. NYC Shade Room. All the T-pages. Because Mavericks seems to be cancelled. 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 I also did this one multiple times while I was in the house. But this time I had a dilemma. On this day, I was trying to link up with this girl, but when I got to her house, let's just say she pulled a Danny Phantom. So then I figured, while I waited at her house, I would do the dare, subliminally expose her for ghosting me, and get some advice from my 8,000 followers, cause I know they love and care for me so much. And I was right. The love was pouring in from everybody, and I was just feeling so overwhelmed. But just give up. Just give up. Just give up. You need to give up on putting cartoon characters as your profile picture. Hello, nigga. Fuck. Like, why do people feel the need to disrespect me? Like, am I ugly? Cameraman, am I ugly? Bro, I'm not ugly, bro. It became obvious that I was hurt. And that hurt turned into anger. Anger turned into frustration. But then I just decided to take my anger out on my mom on the next day because, you know, my mother always takes her anger out on me. What you say? Not nothing, mom. I was just saying how you always are so nice to me. Mm-hmm. I'm grateful. But how is doing this taking my anger out on my mom? Oh my god! Mom, 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 mom! She didn't even notice the lipstick on my lips. Mom? Are you really on my sleep like the house is burning down? What is that on your lip? What are you talking about? Where the lip is on your lip? Bro? No, I don't. Why are you gonna wake me up like something happened? Mom, 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 mom. As you can see, uh -huh, I clearly don't know how to act today because uh -huh, it's giving inches. <laughs> uh. Speaking of these inches. If you live in New York and you're tired of your hair looking skimp like hers, go to Creations by Mani Instagram page right now. She can do hair good, men and women. You can book an appointment at the salon or she could come to you. The last time I did my hair, it lasted for like a month. Whose hair is skimp? Shh. Make sure you book an appointment right now if you live in New York City. And you can get 10% off of your first appointment by going on her Instagram page, clicking the link on the bio, and using my discount code MALRICHES10. Make sure y'all check her out. She's really nice and she knows how to do hair really good. And uh, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> you better hope there's no men in that salon when I go book my appointment. <laughs> Respectfully. It's Tuesday. So someone said to go to the dirtiest corner store and get food from there. I feel like y'all just don't 
appreciate me. I ended up finding a store that was 2.2 stars and the reviews, uh, they were bad. But when I got there, I would get disappointed. Hold on. Delhi was so trash that it fucking closed out. Oh my god, ah. But luckily, I was able to find a corner store that was rated worse than that other corner store. But I would have to travel all across the city to get to the other one. I'm not about to sit here and be like, it's the worst thing ever. But it's kind of sour. Kind of bitter. It's not the worst. Whereas I can eat half of this or a quarter of it. <laughs> Four out of ten. I'm not going to lie. I'll, I'll take one more bite. Oh my god, don't cut the road! Just play. I'm now going to another corner store to do another dare where I have to act like I'm gonna get a relationship. I didn't do that. I didn't do it at the other corner store because it was type empty. And also, since I don't have anybody else to kind of make an argument with, I'm gonna act like I'm on the phone yelling at some girl and we'll see how that goes. Yo, why is this calling me, bro? Hello? What do you want? Why do you keep calling me? What? Who gave you gun? It wasn't me. You think I ain't asked the guys on the block, bro? I know you're about. Why you think I ain't touched you for a month, bro? Stop calling my phone, bro. Done. We're over. You're a thought. You're a bitch. You're a thought. You're a thought. You're a thought. Leave me alone. Stop calling my phone. And if I see you, I'm dead ass spitting in your face. I'm dead ass spitting in your face. We're too crip. We're too folk. We're too blood. We're too LMB. I will dead ass spit in your face if I see you, bro. Stop calling my fucking phone. You dumb ass. Stop calling. Stop! Stop calling my phone, bro. Just stop. You're done. If I see you, I'm spitting in your face. I'm punching all in your shit. I don't care. I right, watch. Watch when I see you, bro. Watch when I see you. Watch when I see you, bro. Watch. So I was able to get some quick reactions, but when I paid for my food, I ended up doing this. How much is it? With that? Yo, stop calling my phone. My fault. You got a girl? No, I don't know how it is, Ak. <laughs> I ain't getting lonely. BTB for the whole summer, bro. Yeah, man. You don't need that. You gotta shake. Yeah. Your mind, you gotta be clean. That's tired of these, bro. Alright. All right. <laughs> Do 20 burpees with weights. Yeah, I'm gonna do 20 burpees with weights. stuff to do today that's all that i got for y'all today i'll see y'all tomorrow oh shit all right y'all it's wednesday do 20 push-ups in the middle of the street Disclaimer, at this very moment, my headphones decided to break and not work at this point. So I'm going to add the sound effects for y'all when I was doing my push-ups, okay? All right. Oh, 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 big daddy rocks, big daddy rocks, big daddy, oh. <laughs> I know y'all are probably saying, Mal, you're not doing push-ups. You're dry humping the air. <laughs> Shut the hell up. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, you see it here first. A Hickstown truck driver drove in front of my camera. He has no respect. Move out the way. Get out of my camera, you Hickstown driver. Go back to Hicksville. Get out, get out, get out. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that, that, that's it. With the bag one. With the bag one. What the fuck is you talking about? That damn truck got in my way. We were still getting money. Y'all heard that man in the background. Y'all know what's up. My allergies bother me. Someone dared me to scream Wu K in the floors and GDK in the GD territory. If you're from out of town and don't know what the hell I'm talking about, let me explain. This is the group of Wu's. This is the group of GD's. Wu plus GD together equals boom boom pow pow. Adding a K to any of these groups means that you want to boom boom pow pow them. So if you say Wu K in a Wu territory or GDK in a GD territory, uh, do I have to say the rest, bro? I was then trying to make my way to my first destination, but then something unfortunate but 
at the same time fortunate happened. The pedals broke. I was riding, I heard something pop, and that was it. I just bought this bike too. I guess God is looking out for me. I guess just spinning the block tonight. But it's just that now, I only did one dare for Wednesday, and that's trash. Tomorrow I'm gonna do more dares, I'm gonna ask to my friend. And that's the end of part one. Part two will be uploaded tomorrow. In the meanwhile, you can go on the community tab and vote on what you thought was the most creative dare out of these dares in part one, and the winner of each poll will go into the final round. Thank you for watching.